Well, combines have been rolling in Oklahoma wheat fields for the past couple of weeks. So Amanda, overall, how's harvest looking? Right now, we are able to, to make a lot of progress. So if we go back a few weeks ago, wheat was ready to harvest a little earlier than usual because of drought. Uh, but then when we were just about to start cutting wheat, Southwest producers started to cut some wheat. We got all that rain we wished uh, we had during the season. That rain took us out of the field uh, for a while, for a week or more, depending on the, on the area where we were. But we, we were able to make some progress in, in the past weeks. A lot of situations that we faced were that the, the ground was not ready, the wheat was ready to be harvested, but the ground was still wet. And yeah, but fortunately we, we were able to make some progress in the, in the past weeks. So, you know, with producers not able to get out in the fields, have you been hearing any issues with sprouting? Yeah, so especially in areas where the wheat was already matured when the rain came in, that's where we have issues with sprouting. So sprouting can be a factor that is caused by the environmental condition, but also a genetics. Uh, so depending on the wheat variety, we may have more or less. And what happens is the wheat is matured and you create those ideal conditions for seed germination. So warm weather, humid, uh, in wet conditions, that is uh, what causes the, the seed just to start germinating while it's still in the, in the wheat head. And in those areas where we are seeing issues with pre-harvest sprouting damage, um, I would recommend for producers to take a look at their seed. And if they're intending to plant for next season, uh, to really do a germination test. What about in those areas that were really, really drought stressed in Southwest Oklahoma or in Southern Oklahoma? What's the situation like with them? Were they actually able to make a crop at all? In some cases, a lot of fields were abandoned. Uh, in fact, we, we had to abandon one of our trials at Altus, unfortunately. And in some cases where they got a little bit more rain than other areas, we are hearing about 10 bushel crop. In some cases, even 20 bushel crop, but in some others, it's a five bushel crop. And so what I would say is that we had some field abandons uh, that were abandoned with a reason because the drought was just so extreme this year. Some fields that producers were able to save and at least get something from it. So what, what is actually giving us as a result is just our yields are so variable throughout the state. And you move up to, to north uh, central Oklahoma, we have one of our trials there. It's about 60, 70 bushel crop. Um, and so very variable protein is still uh, favorable in a good range. Test weight was lowered a little bit with, especially in those locations where the rain really delayed us. But it's still, we are in that good range, 58, 60. So, yeah, it's a, it's a variable year, so for areas where we were able to at least cut something, that's great. And especially in those areas where we got some timely rains, that's, that's even better. Alrighty, thanks Amanda. Dr. Amanda Silva, Small Grain Specialist here at Oklahoma State University.